Well, we make them and then we break them all the time. Those goals to eat better and get in shape. Now we're several weeks into the new year and the cravings have hit. Now you've already resisted those salty and sweet treats, maybe the biscuits at breakfast and creamy fettuccine Alfredo, but now they're calling your name, right? How do we resist? Lil Liz Josephsberg is a health and wellness and weight loss expert who has helped celebrities like Jennifer Hudson and Jessica Simpson on their weight loss journey. She joins us this morning with some crave busting ideas to help us make better choices and stay on or maybe get back on the right path. Liz, why do you think that people give up so quickly on their goals to eat better in the new year? Yeah, I think it's really hard for people to get very consistent with these healthy habits because I think that they honestly get bored. They don't have a lot of, um, you know, different variation in their diets and they start eating things that they think they should eat rather than the things that they want to eat. And I think it's really important that you don't give up the things you love, but really figure out new ways to have them so that you can do this for the long term, right? Eating grilled chicken and, you know, steamed vegetables every day is like you just look down the, you know, lane of your life and you go am I gonna do this forever no so we got to find ways to keep it interesting I think that's the key so then what do you recommend to your clients when they have cravings for all those sweet and salty things yeah so the cravings are huge right we live in a really crazy food environment now where we're always being triggered to want things from television commercials and and, and onward so I'm really always recommending that you figure out what it is you're craving right if you want french fries we can do that we've got a healthier option here I've partnered today with Bolt House Farms and we've made some baked carrot fries so yeah so easy you're just gonna slice up the carrots toss them in olive oil and bake them for a little while. The key here is even that will get boring if you eat it every single day, but you can keep it really interesting by using, I put out sometimes a trio of dipping sauces of these amazing lower calorie, lower fat, um, both house farms dressings from the ranch to the blue cheese to a balsamic so that you can really dip these in there and have a different flavor and, and change it up from night to night. So salty, you got to take care of it. Sweet too. I've got another a little bit of a recipe here for you with a delicious mug cake. So mug cakes are kind of taking the internet by storm, if you will. Um, if you want to have a little treat, you can make the perfect size portion in a coffee mug. So we've made a carrot mug cake today to kind of satisfy those sweet cravings. This one is so easy. Simply, you're going to mix these ingredients in a coffee mug and put it in the microwave for a couple of minutes. And we've kept it simple by using carrot juice instead of even having to chop carrots. And you get a really nice, deep flavor of carrot in your carrot cake. So yeah, this will hit those uh, sweet cravings. We've got carrot fries for the salty cravings. Well, let's not forget the big game is coming up and it's going to be a food fest across the country. Can you maybe suggest some healthier alternatives so we don't feel maybe so bad come Monday? Yeah, I always recommend you bring things to a party, right? So I kind of uh, am in the, the vein of like protect yourself, right? Bring something that you know that you can go to. So I have actually brought along my personal baked wing recipe, which I'm a little famous for at these parties, especially with the Super Bowl coming up. Uh, I've got uh, this baked wing, wing recipe that I have a secret to. There's a little secret that I actually marinate the wings in the yogurt-based ranch dressing and this gets them very tender right so I put them in a ziploc put cover them in the ranch dressing and they get very tender I think it's the enzymes in the yogurt that are really helping the, the, the tenderness of the meat I marinate them in there then I toss them with a buffalo style uh, uh, dressing and then I bake them up and they're delicious crispy on the outside very tender on the inside so you again you can just really save yourself some calories and fat by being creative uh, bring along your vegetable platter as well right these parties are really tough when you are seeing all these amazing things that you want to grab I position myself close to the vegetable platter I always put on a couple of really interesting dippings sauces so you know I've got a honey mustard here, ranch, um, so that I can kind of be over there keeping myself away from the chips and all the rest uh, on the other side of the room. So bring something along for sure. Well, these have been great options. Is there a place we can go for more information? 
Yes, yeah, so all of the recipes that I talked about today are going to be uh, on our Pinterest page, our Twitter, and our Instagram, and its handle is at Bolt House Farms. Uh, so go on over there. You'll see everything that I've laid out here and more. Uh, so I hope you'll come along and follow us. We're always making new and interesting, uh, delicious recipes to keep it interesting and fun and keep you in it for the long haul. Thank you, Liz. Thank you. Have a great day. Don't go anywhere. The Morning Blend, we'll be right back.